Like any charity in the state, Harbor Homes reports to the Charitable Trust Unit at the Attorney General's Office, which released a report on the organization's current financial condition. We had been seeing that its cash situation was declining. According to the report, Harbor Homes brings in about $40 million in annual revenue, but faces a number of financial problems, stating in recent years it has struggled to maintain sufficient balances for ongoing operations. It's a matter of properly handling the resources they're given and accounting for them properly and coming up with some better controls. Harbor Homes receives state and federal grants and reports monthly to the State Department of Health and Human Services. The AG's office says there is no evidence of money disappearing from the organization. It is making recommendations, including that they make changes to how they handle their accounts. It's a very complex organization and there's much too much money moving back and forth between the companies. We want them to simplify that. Harbor Homes released a statement saying in part, serving the most vulnerable populations in our communities comes first. And to do that, we have comprehensive and responsible financial oversight and management so we can be always there for those in need. We are actively working with the state of New Hampshire to implement a series of procedural changes that will enable us to better meet regulations for all nonprofits contracted with the state. Now, the AG's office says its report has nothing to do with the good and important work that's being done at Harbor Homes. The organization has already agreed to some of the recommendations.